All right, guys, welcome to episode 160 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me, and we're back with another one. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we drop. All right, but we're back with another one. It's a beautiful day. How we fucking feeling, Johnny? How we feeling? And shit, I'm feeling good, bro. I fucking drank a whole pint of Henny last night. Yeah, Yo, fucking. My dog, <laughs> <by> the, <laughs> I'm gonna let you know something, man. My dog was litty titty, bro. Yeah, bro. No my, my dog was like, "Yo, I don't got to drive." All right, bet. Oh yeah, bro. We we went to the studio and shit. You know what I'm saying? Laid some shit down and shit. But it's like, I know my friends. <laughs> I know I'm my like, friends. Nah, nah. As soon as he started talking that emotional talk, I looked at Jay. I was like, I got to take him home. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, I that's what I said. I was like, I got to take him home, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> my get, dog's lit. Bro. Yeah, bro. We got to get out of here, bro. Bro. Nah, but that Henny, bro. That Henny was good. It's been a while. Yeah, and then Theo calling you to I curse know. you out. Yeah, he was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, yo, bro. It's funny as fuck and it's true. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck? Like, you want me to sit here and lie? It's fucking hilarious, bro. And it's something I'll never forget. You got my ass. And yo, it's something that you brought up. You always bring up. It's fucking hilarious. And you, nah, facts, facts. And he's like, bro, you only got one fucking deal, though. What you the only fuck? only got one. <laughs> Piece of shit, they know. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, chill, bro. Nah, bro. That's, how, that's just how life goes, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. My only uncle, man. Love you, bro. For nah, real. facts, bro. But... Let's get straight into it today, man. Women will give you hints for them to fucking get married, for them to be in a relationship. All yeah. of that. Oh, yeah. Big time, bro. I've seen it with all my friends' relationships. I'm like always sitting there and I'm like, oh, okay, that's a sign for you. Yo, you better put a ring on yeah, that. Yeah, you better lock yeah. it down, bro. She's going to be locked down somewhere else. For, <laughs> for real. Because if you don't do it, somebody else will. Absolutely. Bro, it's not yeah. just that, man. Women and women and men are different like they have like a biological clock internally where like their body's letting them know like bro you you need to start having kids by this age like their body tells them like it it's weird like yeah but men bro like we could have kids till we're fucking 70 as long as our <laughs> dick work we could have kids so yeah. it doesn't it's different for us like oh i don't care i could have a kid at 40 yeah and they even have pills i could wait till shit. 40 and have a kid and i'll be all right yeah they got fucking but, pills to make your dick hard and shit yeah, so it's like, like bro like facts, that blue chew, yeah. baby hey yeah. Blue Chew, hit us up. But nah, <laughs> but nah, bro, it's like, it's different, man. Like, women are high pregnancy risk when they turn, like, 35 or something. When you turn 35, it's, like, now you're high-risk pregnancy, which means that you or the baby could die. There's a way like more likely possibility. So for, it's different for women, man. It's, it's better for women, for women to have kids at an early age, basically. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Like, my dad knocked my mom up at 45. Like, he was a grown ass man still out there slanging you know what i'm saying like yeah. it doesn't matter about the age for men in my opinion you know what i'm saying of course your shit's gonna stop working one day nigga. Yeah, yeah yeah of course but it's still different like yeah and then who wants to be like a super old parent like some people don't really give a fuck, fuck. like my dad my dad had a kid at like what like 50 50 something nigga why not yeah listen i feel like that's how it's always been like yeah if you have the means for it if you could afford it why the fuck not like, I, that's how I think about it. Like, I look at it different if it's somebody that's out here working at fucking Save a Lot. No offense to nobody that works at Save a Lot. But if you're out here working at, <laughs> no, that is, but if you're out here working at like a job like that and you want 10 kids, it's like, yeah. It's like, like come you on. can't afford to live just you and your girl, bro. You want to bring 10 other people into this. But yeah. if you're rich, it's like, okay, he wants 10 kids. He wants 10 kids. He could take care of every single last one of them. I know. Like, it's different. That is different. Yeah, that is true. Fucking, yeah, bro. but who cares? I don't. I don't give a fuck, bro. Like facts. To, you like that's life. that's my personal opinion, though. Like I wouldn't mind being fucking fifty, like a fifty year old, and yeah. then like bringing my kid to a basketball game. Or I don't mind being the 45, 50 year old dad at the high school games. I don't. Yeah, I don't mind it because at that point I'm set. Like I, I'm telling you, like I'll be set. Yeah, We're I don't, good. we don't have to sit here and stress. And then like facts. Like think about it, bro. If you're not prepared, so that if you're not prepared at an early age and you have a kid, that's less time you're going to be spending with your kid. I feel like if you want something yeah, better for the kid, nah, I agree, yeah. bro. That's completely true. But I feel like it's like if you don't, I don't know how to explain it, bro. If if you don't have money saved, it's pre, it really just comes down to the financial part of it. Because you never like people talk about being ready, but nigga, you're never really mentally prepared to bring another human into the planet. That's different. Yeah, but you could be financially prepared. Yeah, and that's the part people skip over. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, like, make you feel bad about the decision you're making. 
You know what I'm saying? He's like, you'll never be ready, bro. You might as well have a kid right now. No, nigga, because I can't afford them. <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? Like that, you nobody yeah. plays that into action. Love don't pay the goddamn bills, bro. Yeah, let's be real. Everybody want to be in love and do that's fucking beautiful, man. If you're in love, congratulations. Stay in love. You know what I'm saying? Do you think? Yeah, like, facts. It's, that's do a good thing. I'm yeah. not saying it's Hell a bad yeah, thing because everybody needs somebody. Yeah, but yeah. that doesn't pay the bills. At the end of the day, somebody got to get up and go to fucking work. Somebody got to get up and do something. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's like. That's just how I feel about that situation, bro. You know what I mean? Straight up. Yeah, it's pretty crazy, bro. You know what's really fucking nuts is what's going on fucking overseas and shit. Yo, listen, nah, that ass. It's not even a joke. Nah, um, nah. It's not, a, a lot of people are joking yeah. about it, though. Nah, it, and I, it, I just, of it's course, just, it's, man. It's human nature. It's people a, are going to fucking joke about it. It's the internet. But it is a serious topic. People yeah. are, you know what I'm saying, passing away. Condolences go out to those people that have passed away in Ukraine. Innocent people yeah. that got bombed and shit. You know what I'm saying? But. I'll let you know what. Yeah, man, that's not fucking cool, man. That's Round of applause cool. to the Ukraine tank man. That's what I'm going to call him. The yeah, tank. bro. You're a tank man. This guy was driving down the road minding his fucking <laughs> business. Who knows? Bro. Doing whatever. Smoking a blunt, probably just cruising, listening bro, to the he's music. Like, fucking just He's like relaxing. our grandpa, bro. That nigga probably just went to the store to get some bread or something. Nigga going back to the house and... Here comes this fucking tank playing GTA, bro. Yeah, just, just swerves straight into him and runs him over. Yeah, everybody's like, oh. I sh- <laughs> the lady that's recording screaming. screaming. Bro, I showed John, bro. John's like, he's dead. Yeah. I'm like, nah, he survived. He's like, nah, no, no. ain't no fucking way. Nah, ain't no, no way. Nah, I was bullshit. like, bro. He survived. And then, I showed him the fucking video. The video of him, him out. He's fucking crawling out, and the guy looked like he was in disbelief too that he fucking survived. I was like, holy shit, bro. Yeah, yeah bro. like he's like. How am I alive? I if don't know. If you get run uh. over by a tank, if you would have seen that car after the tank ran it over, you'd be like, "Ain't no fuck." Like you said, "Ain't no way anything in there is alive." Bro, that I just I can't believe it, bro. That was crazy. Yeah, that was God. That was a miracle, bro. You were you were not meant to die, bro. Yeah, Yo, you by were not meant to tank. die. But whoever's driving that tank, bro. Nah, you're, that, an, you're an asshole. Dude. Well, I mean, he's not getting in trouble. They're at war. Of course he's not. <laughs> Nigga, they're invading the country. What trouble are we talking about? Yeah. I'll run you over again, bitch. Yeah, I'll fucking do it again, oh, bitch. I I'll fucking do it, Yui, bro. Don't make me fucking bust this Yui. I will, bitch. I'll run you over, bro. We were talking about that shit last night, bro. About like, yo, bro, if we were at war, I'd be a fucking dick. Nah, yeah. I'll this blow guy's up an fuck. asshole now. If we were at war, bro. Bro, this I'm blowing up be, buildings. Bro. Sending airstrikes to the wrong part of town on purpose. I mean, at least we don't live in one. Like they're probably <laughs> with them. That bitch this <laughs> have nothing to do with this. <laughs> no, at least we don't fucking live in a country where fucking like we have to join the military. Like, no offense, though. Like, salute to everybody no. that's in the fucking service, bro. Listen, Let's give them a round of applause. Fucking applause round bro. of applause, salute America, no, motherfucker. Thank you, thank you for your service, but yeah. I'm glad we do live in a country where it's we a, have a choice. choice. Where it's like, all right, yeah. if you want to go join, bro, hey, bro, let your dick hang and go do what you do, bro. Yeah, you know facts. what I'm saying? But I ain't going. Nah. I've always felt like that, bro. I'm not going to somewhere else to go to war. If it if they're not coming here, man, I'm sh- I'm straight. And it's only one year. Well, at least I, I, just for for Norway that I know of. Yeah, you know, like there's mandatory. Other co- mandatory. Yeah, mandatory. mandatory. Yeah. Imagine, bro, the the luck, the one year. Everybody else is fucking good, and in the one year you fucking go, you're going and, to war. and you want a war. What? Just, oh my god, I'd be fucking pissed. Here's a helmet. Here's a rifle. Here's a <laughs> pair of boots, nigga. Figure it out. Nah, for you real. Here, tomorrow. Here's three months training. Oh yeah, you didn't. Pay, you didn't. You don't even have to go through basic. You, you just, you're going. You leave tomorrow. Yeah, you're leaving. Basic training my ass. You better basic train yourself on that YouTube real quick, sonny yeah. boy, because you're you're going tomorrow. You're gonna see them bullets flying. No, that's fucked up. Bro. Yeah, that's not it's cool. crazy, man. Like it, it's just you're just another number. Yeah, it's just it's war, man. But that leads to the next thing I wanted to talk about, which is that war leads to advancement. As much as people don't want to fucking look at it that way, every country was taken over by force. America was taken over by force. You know what I'm saying? Like every country at some point, like people came and they conquered and they said, "Bitch, this is mine now. Yeah, do something." <laughs> It's, That's it. It's like, like the Vikings and shit. You know what I mean? They fucking came and they fucking bro. destroyed everything. And fucking the only difference is that now there's no raping. I yeah. mean, that we know of. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Yeah, well, you never that, know, bro. That we know of, bro. You know God, I'm That's but crazy. In yeah, an invasion, 
and an invasion. There's no holds barred, nigga. There's no rules. Bitch, we're invading your fucking country. I'm going to blow your house up. I'm going yeah. to fucking... Like, it's crazy, bro. Nah. But watch, nigga, watch. Russia is going to be like a superpower in the next, like, 20 years, bro. That's a power move, man. Yeah. Like, that's a move where he's like... People are comparing him to Hitler and this and that. That's, it's not the same. And the only reason is because he's not fucking enslaving these people. Like, yeah. He's not taking them and, like, singling them out because they're a specific race or a specific, like... Uh, religion, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's just like nigga, we're taking over. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. what I'm saying? There's a difference. Yeah. I'm not saying it's right. You know I what mean, I'm saying? If you, try, if you try to fucking stop us, we're gonna fucking kill you. You know what I mean? Bro, I don't think listen, they're going at, at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah. America has the biggest military in the world. We have the most money put into the military that any other country has. Yeah, like, we're fucking. When it comes, when it comes to that, like there's other shit that other countries are better that. No, no, in my opinion. We have other shit to worry about. Other shit. But, like, when it comes to that, nigga. Yeah, we got America other America got the, the fucking muscle, bro. Yeah, okay. we, got, we, got, we got other shit to, to worry about, in my fucking opinion. Like what? Like, Let's talk about it. Like, to be honest with you, bro, like, I feel like we're always trying to fucking save people and shit like that. You're like, we're, mm, you know what I mean? And round it's just of like, applause to that. I feel like that's It's too. like, bro, like, we don't know what the fuck is going on over there. Who we're knows? Putin police. might be the right one. Yeah, we're not the world police. Yeah. Like, we don't know what happened. You don't know what type of attack they try to do low key on fucking Russia that didn't work and they found out and they're like, you know, oh, oh, word? Yeah, for real. You try to murk us? Nigga, like, we're taking your whole shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like people, people just want to jump to conclusions and just like be like, yo, like, and point fingers and be like, man, the media said this, so this is. You know, it's like, bro, like, come on, man. Like, people need to, need to, like, really, really, like, wake the fuck up. Yeah, bro. People need to wake up and, and realize that natural selection is a real thing. At the end of the yeah. day, we're all going, bro. We're all going to go. Some of us are going to go tragically. Some of us are going to go at peace at home with our family. Some of us are going to get fucked in a car accident. Like, it's just, everybody's going, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And people get caught up in the feelings of things. But, bro. The war is going to happen. Every country has blood on its soil. Yeah. Every country I don't care where you go you we, we will never have peace on earth Nah nigga you We crazy? were talking about that I was like bro America is like 240 some Or 50 some years old I forget I am didn't graduate guys So don't make fun of me But Damn. it's like 240 <laughs> some years old Bruh We've been at war for like 200 years straight Out of the 240 <laughs> Straight real. nigga yeah, Like, like just, every year we're like Nah fuck the niggas bro If we're not at war Then it's like it's weird Nah yeah If we're not if we're not nuking shit, bro, yeah, blowing not, shit up, then it's not America. You know what I mean? Listen, that's just how it is. We're bullies. They need some freedom. Yeah, bro, that's what it is. <laughs> they, like, need, they need some were, freedom. You were saying too, like I believe, like I don't know if it's a hundred percent, a hundred percent true, but like we had a civil war. Like we fought against Nigga, each yes. other. Like, that's a hundred percent true. Yeah, like you know America what I mean? is like, one of the only countries that fought against itself. Like that. yeah, like. Fought against itself. It was just like, yo, bro, I'm the North with the like, South. Yo, fuck them North ass niggas. And the North was like, fuck them South ass niggas. Yeah. And they went to war. Yeah. When it was one shot muskets and fucking bayonets. So yeah. you shoot one time and run up and stab the nigga with the gun. Damn. That's a different time. And then it takes a long time to fucking. <laughs> you gotta hide pack behind a bitch. fucking oak tree, nigga, and hope that one of them goddamn bullets don't hit you. Nah, for real. For real. Yeah, bro. We live in a good time, though. Because we live in the best time. We live in a really good time. Because, like, I feel like we can have our own opinion and not get fucking killed. Back in the day, it was different. Like, you you know what I mean? Nah, yeah. You said certain <laughs> shit, bro. You're, you're getting stoned to death. Yeah, like, bro. You're getting like, hung. Like, that ass. Like, nah, it, bro. Every time has its pros and it has its cons, bro. Yeah. Like, I really don't believe that there's true freedom of speech. I'm yeah. gonna just put that straight out there. Facts. There's no true that freedom true of speech. Too. As soon as you say something that goes against, you know what I'm it's saying? It's judged against you, that, bro. That, yeah. you know, that goes against the system, bro. It's getting it's getting taken down. It's getting erased and you're gonna get a warning and this and that. Like there's no true freedom of speech, but there's so much more opportunity now. Like, I talk about it all the time. I don't even know his name, but the Bitcoin kid, bro. Not the Bitcoin kid, the Ethereum kid. Nigga was 17, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. 17 years old, bro. 17. Young. And made Ethereum. 
Yeah, that's that's ridiculous. What in the fuck is going on? That what guy, are y'all feeding these kids? Yeah, that guy. Because when I was seventeen, I couldn't, nigga, I couldn't pass algebra. Nah, there's some that, right? that kids are pro- <laughs> nah, there's some kids that are prodigies, bro. Nah, that kid's different. Yeah. I'm telling you, I say it all the time. Man. Imagine your son asks for a computer, and you're like, bro, he's sixteen. He probably wants to watch porn on this. Or oh, he like, builds his own go, computer. Bro. Go look at titties. Yeah. Go look at titties. Yeah. That's what you're thinking. Yeah. And this nigga comes back and he's like, Dad, we're billionaires. And you're like, what the fuck are you talking about? And yeah. he just shows you all this shit and he created and you're like, what the fuck? Like kids yeah. are different, bro. Yeah. Kids are different now. Yeah, some kids, bro, they're just born with it. Bro, right they out were the born fucking, in that, right out the womb. They were born in the technology era, bro. Yeah. Honestly, like they were born in that era where it's like nowadays, bro, it's weird for a, a six year old not to have a tablet. Yeah, and I'm I, like, nigga, I, when I was six, I was lucky if I even got to hold my mom's phone. I don't even know. The fuck how, is you talking? I about? don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how I feel about it either, man. I feel like it's a substitute for parents. Like it's it, it's like a babysitter. Yeah, like they're like, like here, a, you fucking click you on it. They get entertained, and you go watch TV, and they just come to you when it's dying. Yeah, no, it's dying. Yeah, and you plug it in for him. Yeah, and then, and then it fucking get... and then they run back and then it's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like what the fuck? What the fuck? Be a parent, bro. Yeah, Be real. Bro. My mom was there throughout the whole time. Facts. Not nah, fucking... I couldn't leave my mom's sight. Yeah, like, like I was to there. To a certain age. Yeah, to a certain saying? age, of course. It was yeah. like my mom was like, "Yo, the guy don't know that blah blah." Yeah, like, you, we didn't have it. tablets back then, bro. A tablet, even if we did, but you think we get in one? Nah, fuck out of here. Nah, my I mom, wasn't no, getting a no, fucking I wasn't getting tablet. A I didn't get my first I, phone, phone, so I was like 13. 13. Nigga. Yep, me too. And it was a flip, flip phone. phone. Yep, mine it was too. a singular flip phone, one yep. of them little silver shits. Yep, mine too. I was thugging on that bitch. Though. Yeah. I thought I was the shit. I used to have Taking the ringtone, uh, grainy ass pictures and shit. Twenty one questions. <laughs> nah, yeah. bro. Listen, it was a different time when niggas That's actually used to. Used to pay for ringtones and shit, and now yeah. if I hear my phone, I fucking want to throw it in the lake. Yeah, bro, for real. Keep it on silent. Now it's like basic. We're going, nah, we're yeah, going like, back in time. Yeah, it's like just a being, ringtone. Yeah, what the yo? Fuck? If your phone has a ringtone, I'm gonna look at you like you're stuck in fucking 2005. There's people that have that. I've seen I it. No, and they're all sixty. Yeah, <laughs> they're old as fuck. Yeah. They think it's cool and shit. You know the old people, bro. They be doing like certain shit that I don't know. Nigga, we're gonna be them old. Yeah, days. we're gonna be fucking like, forty years. Our kids are gonna be like, look at these old ass niggas. When people the fuck you. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Damn, man. I feel like the older we get, too, time time just goes quicker. Time flies, bro. Time fucking flies, man. The older you get, time definitely goes quicker, bro. It, like you just have more responsibility. You focus on other shit. You start realizing like you don't have that much time. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you just start realizing certain shit, so you move different. But life is a motherfucker, bro. It's long. It's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. So keep that shit in mind. I almost it's, just it's, so, it's, it's, it's sometimes good. It's sometimes shit. Sometimes good, sometimes cheap. Hey, see that, see that guy? guy? <laughs> Number one bullshit guy. <laughs> wee woo. <laughs> he do the wee woo wee woo. Yeah, but now, nah, listen, man. Natural selection. I want to talk about natural selection, right? Bro, everything happens for a reason. There's a natural order to things, man. Yeah. Shit happens for a reason. Like, you fucking hear certain stories, and you're like, damn, that's crazy. Nah, what was supposed to happen to that guy? Yeah. That was supposed to happen. Yeah. Just that like... Ass. Just like... Going back to deaths, yeah, like people are gonna die in their own ways. Everybody has their own time. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's just how he was supposed to die. Sometimes it's not fucking pretty. Yeah, sometimes it's pretty <laughs> fucked up. Sometimes it's really fucked up, and sometimes it's just it's whatever, you know. But yeah. I feel like anything unexpected though is always the worst. Yeah, you know what I'm saying you wake it doesn't matter to- how old they are. What you know, what I'm saying like what age, like when you just like. Aren't expecting it, bro, and it happens. That shit is the worst. Yeah, Those it, are the worst calls to get. It doesn't hit you until like later. Like you're just still in shock. You're just like mm-hmm. in disbelief. You're like, what? Like nah. Like nah. Like that don't make sense. Yeah, that's your brain a has to process of grieving. Bro. Yeah, you have to like your brain has to like process it and like it's crazy how the mind works, bro. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know? there's like five or six different steps of of grieving. It's like denial, anger. Uh, like you go through like different like, but it's true, bro. Like you, everybody goes through it when you go when you lose somebody, bro. You get you you you're in denial at first. You're like, nah, 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 y'all bullshit. Yeah. And then when you it hits, then you get mad, then you get sad. You know what I'm saying? Then you get happy. You start remembering all the fucking good times you had. Then you get mad again because you're happy about the good times you had and they're not yeah. here. Like yep. it's just a whole like it's like a process. But listen, man, anybody anybody that's lost somebody, bro, we with you, bro. 
that shit ain't easy. You know what I'm saying? Condolences go out to you, man, and keep trucking, bro. Keep yeah, trucking. man, and R R P fucking George, man. I, uh, he supported us a lot, bro. You know what I mean? So. Uh, shout out to, to George, man and uh, Word, yo, rest in peace to George, man Send was, me a motherfucking spot up there, bro So I can smoke one with you, man He was yeah. cool, man He even wanted to make a sign Like like a handmade sign mm -hmm. and, and put it on the wall Yeah, bro us. We got some supporters, man That yeah. Like, they real supporters, bro And we love and appreciate Every single last one of you You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's sad when you hear about stuff like that Yeah, you know bro I mean? like, Yeah, he's a good guy yeah, he was, yeah, he was a good, he was a good guy, good father, and he was always positive and he was always supportive of the podcast. So you know, Word. a lot nah, of people rest aren't. Rest in peace to him. So man. rest in peace to him, bro. Yeah, yeah, if you're a real supporter, we know this. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, fuck you. Yeah, that's how I feel. For real, for real. But yeah, man, women need titles. Listen, man, I I don't understand it. I miss those old couples that were just together for fifty years and never got married. They never like you're like yo, y'all still together? Yeah, you married? Fuck no. Yeah. For what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're just together for fifty fucking years. Like, why can't it be like that, bro? Man, it's like, just, nah, you need to be a girlfriend. Then you need to be a fiance. Then yeah. you need to be a whole wife. Then you need to be. It's like, bitch, I like you're still fucking the same dick every night. It doesn't matter. Y'all do the same two positions and go to sleep ten minutes later. Like, All right, I don't want to hear this. I like shit. going to weddings, man. I like crashing them too. Now nah, weddings are fun. <laughs> weddings are fun when you're the single nigga going. Yeah. When you're like the best man or whatever. You, yeah, you yeah. Being that bit like. Yeah, for Maybe. real, bro. And you know what, bro? Like, even our boys, our boys, Toby's. Toby's wedding was pretty nice, Yeah, man. Toby's wedding was really nice. And we were dressed beautiful, up. Beautiful, actually. Yeah. It was a beautiful day, beautiful fucking river. And I don't, I, even like, think, I don't even think there was a best man and all that, right? It was kind of just normal. I like it was. So. I, if I do a wedding, I want it to be like that. Yeah, like, he was, like it, was it was just a wedding. But it was nice as fuck. Like, we invited y'all motherfuckers. To come and see be it. Be grateful. Don't leave a mess. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get, get fuck fucked. Out. Everybody get fucked up. Eat. You know what I mean. It's nice. It was a nice area too. It was a nice yeah. little parking shit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. So I like weddings. Toby's wedding was lit. Yeah, because we all dipped to that little fucking patch and started burning, bro. We're all just yeah, cooling. We're, we're bro. fucked up, man. Like, my, dog, like, bro, my dog. I want, I want people smoking at my wedding. I'm not gonna cap. Like I'm not gonna be that guy. That's like, oh, don't smoke it, nigga. You better light that no. blunt because I'm gonna come hit it. I'm the guy at my wedding, nigga. Yeah. I need tax. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the guy that's like at the wedding, bro, and I'm looking for pussy. <laughs> Because <laughs> women, no, the, yo, yo, if you really vagina, yo, vagina gets its moistest. Yeah, during the wedding, during the wedding or bro. a funeral. Yeah, they well, get, you got to play the funeral right. Yeah, they get. And I know it sounds <laughs> fucked up, guys, but this is all facts. Yeah, Weddings and funerals, bro. You get you some nice poon, bro. But you, you just gotta know how to play. Yeah, bro, and it's beautiful. It's beautiful. They get emotional and they're like, oh, "I really want somebody." You know what? I'm fucking horny. You know what? Let me fucking suck a dick. And you know what? <laughs> Let me go fuck behind this tree over here. <laughs> you know, or some shit. I don't you fucking got a know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, and they get loose. They get loose, bro. Everybody get loose and goosey. You know what I mean? They smoking. They fucking drinking. They fucking having a good time. It's good vibes, and uh, and they're horny. Listen, and man, that's on the that's game. That's how that shit go. I'll <laughs> never forget. I almost pulled one of my boys' moms on accident. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, yeah. You and Will just looked at each other like. I was like, wow, my dog, bro. bro my we dog, were, first, first of all, no, 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 no first, he's skipping a part. <laughs> my dog was, my dog was dressed like he was, bro. He no, was no, no, the bro. king of the south, bro. I was I'm dressed not even. like I handle every single horse in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> He I got like, a whole farm, bro, bro And not, not like a farmer I'm talking about like a no, ranch no, I, it, Bro, it yeah. looked like I sold horses For like, a living, yeah Like, bitch, I'll go catch that horse right there And sell it to you yeah. <laughs> and look, You see that stallion over there? I'll fucking <laughs> whip that bitch over there And fucking grab it over here And I'll make him into my, into my horse I'll train him Nah, but I was yeah. dressed nice It was a wedding, man yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my boy's from the South So I had my, my cowboy hat on You know what I'm saying? I had my nice boots, whatever Yeah Like I was chilling And we're just sitting in a circle, man And just talking It's literally just all guys And the fucking most awkward part about it was That her son was standing right next to me Yeah, and I was there and then Right I next to me And she just walks up And she's like, hey I just want to introduce myself My name is blah, blah, blah I was like, oh, nice to meet you I'm Hector 
And she's like, oh, you're like the only guy here that's taller than me. Yeah. And she just starts flirting with me in front of her fucking son. And and then I'm fucking looking at this guy. I'm looking at Willie over there. And Will's like, All I heard heard Will say was, don't fucking look at me like that. (laughs) And I was just like, you're looking at me. (laughs) Well, we knew exactly what the fuck was going on. My dog Hector was about to fuck this nigga's fucking mom. (laughs) But yeah, bro. Sorry nah, about that. That shit was not. It was a no go. Yeah, bro. It, it was. It, it, she was kind of hot though. It, yeah, but bro, it's my boy's mom. Man. Yeah. That's disrespect, bro. Like, yeah. that's disrespect, bro. Because I'd be hot. <laughs> you hit my mom, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'd be hot. I mean, nah, nah. I'm gonna be, yeah, I'm gonna be hot. I'm gonna be mad as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But that's but like that's <laughs> where you come. Like, listen, man. Logic over feelings. There we come go. on, bro. Logic over feelings. Like. Did I feel like fucking him? Yeah. Yeah. Was it a good idea? <laughs> nah. Nah. And so you got to go with your logic, yeah, bro. You got to think with your big head, not your little head. And you sometimes, know? you know, we think with our fucking little. And you know sometimes, what? Sometimes niggas, bro, niggas think with their little head 98% of the time. <laughs> yeah. That's how you got stuck with a baby mama you don't really want to be with. Yeah. That's facts. And you know what, bro? There's a lot of us that dodge bullets. A lot of us. <sighs> Yo, listen, man. A lot of us. If some walls could speak, <laughs> bro, if some walls could speak, bro, they'd I, say a fucking lot. Bro. They'll say a lot, bro. They'll say a lot, bro. I'm telling you, they'll ruin your life. Nah, for the whole fucking whole life. <laughs> yeah, right here. Be One like, sentence. Oh, nah, he's capping. One <laughs> sentence. <laughs> You're capping. You fucking bitches. And your whore. <laughs> your whole cap. You slut. Yeah. Nah, that's hilarious, man. Nah, yeah, you gotta know. Listen, man, you gotta know how to how to put your feelings aside, think logically, bro, and think about what's best. Sometimes it's hard, you know. Once you get a little, you got a little hen dog in you, you might just say fuck it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You might just fucking raw you dog. You might say fuck it, yeah. fuck a condom, fuck my whole life. I don't care. Yeah, I'm on that dock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. When you're on the dark, it's a different story. Yeah, you'll, you'll throw your whole life away. In yeah, the bro. You don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> your judgment goes right out the fucking window. <laughs> the shit that you think looks fucking beautiful is fucking the most hideous shit you ever fucking seen in your life. Yeah, you ever woke up next to a bitch and be like, whoa. Yeah. You do not look like you did last night. Yeah, nah. That's bro. no fun. I hate that. Cause then it's like, you, <laughs> like, you. She already got your number. Yeah. It's like fuck. Man, That's why I like to, getting hotels, bro. I'm out to go. Shit. I'm out to. Oh, of course. <laughs> you don't come to my house, bro. Hell no. <laughs> fuck no. We both got to get out of here. Yo, we women, both got to check out. Women will pull up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They will. They will pull up. They will. And then let you know. They'll let you know. Yeah. That guy, this dumb bitch, got a fucking. Like, yeah, had, bitch. She has an SUV. Is there anything wrong with that? I had a like, girl. What the fuck. <laughs> I had a girl fucking test me out. She was just like, yo, like, so this is the real test. Are you coming back? Like, that's the real test. And I'm thinking in my head, all right, uh, baby, we both know. I failed the test already. Halfway through the sentence. We both know. <laughs> Where I'm going after this. I'm not coming back. I'm going, <laughs> I'm going home. I'm sliding, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. People, yo, listen. I don't know. If I'm not at my house, once I, once I buzz that nut, bro, I'm, go, I'm gone. Yeah. Yeah, once you come, you come to your sentence. Yeah, you and just, that's a re- that's I probably the realest. See your face. That's probably the realest fucking sentence Lil Wayne has ever said. Listen, no Lil Wayne's a fucking goat, bro. That nigga be speaking nothing but facts. Yeah. Shout out, Lil hey, Wayne. Hey man, shout out Lil Wayne, Wayne, bro. You old as hell now. You yeah, fucking <laughs> <laughs> yo, drugs are motherfucking kids. Don't do them. Yeah, don't. Straight up. But listen, man, we appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget, go down in the description, get yourself some merch if you haven't done so already. Go check us out on Patreon. And yeah, man, we appreciate you. We love you. Make sure you tell somebody you love them. Peace and love. Peace and love. Peace and love.